So we're here at uh, Disneyland. Uh, it's the Epilepsy Awareness Day 2014. Take a look around. Uh, it's really fantastic to see uh, hundreds of people here. Hello, my name's Sam Downey and this is my audition piece and it's called The Lesson and it's a poem by Roger McGough, who's a, a UK poet. Chaos ruled okay in the classroom as bravely the teacher walked in. The hooligans ignored him. His voice was lost in the din. The theme for day is violence and homework will be set. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson, one that you will never forget. He picked on a boy who was shouting and throttled him then and there, then grotted the girl behind him, you know, the one with the grotty hair? Then sword in hand, he hacked his way between the chattering rows. First come, first severed, he declared, fingers, feet, or even toes. He threw the sword at a latecomer. It struck with deadly aim. Then pulling out a shotgun, he continued with his game. The first blast cleared a back row where those who skive hang out. They clapped like rubber dingies when the plug's been pulled out. Please may I leave the room, sir? A trembling vandal inquired. Of course you may, said the teacher. Put the gun to his temple and fired. The head popped her head round the doorway to see why a din was being made nodded understandingly and then tossed in a grenade. And when all the ammo was well spent, with blood on all the chairs, silence shuffled forward with its hands up in the air. The teacher surveyed all the carnage, the dying, the dead. He wiggled a finger severely. Now let that be a lesson to you all, he said. We actually spoke to Sam Downey. Uh, Sam is someone who's been living with epilepsy since birth. Hello, I'm Sam Downey. I'm a broadcaster, actor, performer and journalist, and I've had epilepsy for most of my life. My epilepsy is caused by brain lesions, which are brain tumours. I am currently going through various tests, which include MRI scans, video EEGs and neurological exams as well, to find out what the main cause of my epilepsy is. My epilepsy does affect my working life, but I try to be happy. Today is Purple Day, and we really need to raise awareness all about epilepsy and brain seizures. So they bear speaking again very eloquently and just raising awareness, yes. which is what this day is all about. Yeah, I, he speaks very eloquently about it, and the more people who open up and sure. talk about Absolutely. it, the better. Absolutely. Downey from Bristol has epilepsy and Asperger's, a behavioural condition. A self-employed broadcaster and web designer, he gets some benefits. He says most like him want to work, but politicians instead highlight the few. I do think it's unfair. It does. It makes me really angry uh, about what the government says and, and the words they've used, such as scroungers and saying that everybody must work. They're not considering people who cannot work because of their disability. That really just frustrates me. He knows his disability isn't as obvious as many, but benefits enable him to overcome problems, like not being able to drive. I have to use public transport to travel around uh, the UK, and um, having a, a little bit of subsidy money it allows me just to, to get to work. He doesn't know exactly what help he'll get under the new system. Very few do. But there's real fear that many who need help will be left behind by the changes.
what are your views on net neutrality? The first thing I should say is that the Wikimedia Foundation, which is the nonprofit that owns and operates Wikipedia, takes no political positions on anything whatsoever, uh, including net neutrality.